Blower, if not for CreatorBase, I'm here with Jeffrey Roars. He is the VP of Insights at Exact Target, and you're also an author. Tell us about your new book. I am, yeah. My new book, Audience Marketing in the Age of Subscribers, Fans, and Followers, just came out. And the whole idea is getting companies thinking about the fact that marketing is building assets, not just incurring costs. So I'm a big believer in content marketing. Content marketing embraces the notion that all companies are now media companies, and that's why you're creating content. You want to draw an audience in. But that audience piece doesn't just happen uh, every time you publish a piece of content. You also need to be having somebody in charge of audience development on a continuous basis. So that's the soapbox I'm standing on. I believe every company, every individual could benefit from thinking about how are they building their audiences in terms of size, engagement, and value for the long haul. Yeah, we're really uh, talking about how to deliver unexpected value. So I wrote a book called Human to Human. And how do you take a brand that is trying to automate their processes and deliver something unexpected from a human to a human? So one of the things that I actually did, I'm sure we've all had jobs in high school and college, and I didn't like any of my jobs until I became a pizza delivery driver for Domino's. It was interesting because it was lo the longest job that I had, and it ended up becoming a favorite because I couldn't make any tips at the beginning. I was trying to figure out how do I how do I make tips? How do I make money do it being a pizza, pizza delivery driver? I went to Safeway one day. I saw two liters, a whole pallet of them, two for one at 50 cents for two. I bought the whole pallet, quarter cents, quarter, uh, quarter a piece for two liter, and took that pallet, put it into my 1984 Chevy Blazer, still miss it, put that all into my Blazer, and drove a two liter for free to every person who got a medium or larger. And I handed it to them, and at the end of the day, what was once no tips or maybe a dollar, they ended up reaching into their pocket and they found $5 and $10 to give me this money for this free two liter that was delivered. So a month and a half later, I ended up being called in the office. They said, you really need to stop doing this because we're getting calls from the other drivers or the other people that aren't delivering two liters. My point in saying all of this is that we have to deliver unexpected value. Where they thought they weren't getting a two liter, they were so overjoyed that they actually found the money, they found the, the thank you, the, the, the resilience to be able to give this to me. And I just thought that really applies to what we're going through right now with brands, especially as we're trying to over-automate things that really need, need to be driven as humans.